It's not just the police. Sukhvinder Grover's worried customers have been warning him too. His mini supermarket in Brentford is near a planned far-right protest, so he's shutting early. The local community is fully supportive. If they said close the business, go early, they are very worried about well-being of us and the business. Just down the road, immigration lawyer Harjot Bungal is doing the same. This office should be buzzing with staff, but some were too scared to come in. The others have been sent home. The owner of our building came downstairs and said, look, we can't really provide you extra security. It's best that if you go. And then the police actually walked in to the office and said, look, you don't need to go home. Uh, you, don't, you shouldn't be here. Brentford is just one of dozens of areas around the country where there could be violence. I've spoken to a number of business owners who feel that they might be targeted in any far-right violence. And without exception, they will all be closing their businesses early today. In fact, one barber I spoke to said he wanted to shut early yesterday because he saw a group of men outside his salon and he felt unsafe. That gives you an idea of the fear and terror that's being felt in so many communities. And that tension is being felt in many parts of the country, like this mosque in Croydon, businesses in Birmingham and shops in Bristol. We've seen literally every single venue owner come out to help make sure everything's ready. But it's sad that it's even had to come to this, really. These messages are just a handful of those sent to us today. People across the UK telling Sky News they're too scared to leave their homes. Health leaders have warned GPs and hospitals about potential violence. Dr Sara Anise's Birmingham surgery was forced to close early on Monday to protect her staff and her patients. I'm upset for so many reasons because the NHS is built, its backbone are, 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 are staff of all colours, of all cultures, of all religions, but there is a backbone of staff who are from overseas and who are of ethnic minorities. Should they not turn up to work, the NHS will crumble. Sudvinda hopes to open as normal tomorrow, but that all depends on how safe he feels. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in Brentford.